Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Molt. So happy to be here with you guys, as always. And as you can see, this is another episode of Let's Clash, guys. This is going to be the third episode of the series. We have three builders available right now. Almost maxed out gold and elixir. We're definitely getting there. As you can see, our resources are super full. Um, I switched things up a little bit on my base. I scooted the clan castle out a little bit. I know I always preach putting it in the middle, um, but I really, really want to just protect my um, my resources right here. And then once I get up to probably closer to max Town Hall 6 and maybe 7, then I'll, um, I'll bring the clan castle back in. But at this time, uh, yeah, I'm just trying to pump out some some resources. Uh, as you can see, I have, um, I'm kind of working with strategies at this town hall level because it's definitely different than, um, than my town hall eight that I'm used to. So I have five giants. The reason that I have five giants is because, um, I really just will have them for more of a distraction. Um, and then I have my wall breakers to get through the walls, obviously, so that my goblins and barbarians can get in there. But why don't we go ahead and um, attack? I'm going to break that shield and let's see what we can find. Um, the reason that um, I'm still kind of figuring out my strategy is because last time I was at Town Hall 6, I didn't really know what I was doing. Um, but I've learned a lot about the game um, and I'm just I'm just continuing to, to grow and get better. Um, and yeah, so that's why I'm still trying to figure out the strategy that works best for me. If you guys have a cheap, efficient, effective strategy that you use, look at this. This is going to be great. Oh, this is, dang it. I wish there wasn't that much gold because I'm going to feel bad taking it. Why does there have to be that much gold? All right, well, whatever. All right, so we're going to, uh, actually, I'm just going to, I'm just going to lazy farm this guy um, because everything that he has is in his collectors. Um, and since I'm maxed out on gold, there isn't really any need for me to waste too many troops um, getting all of his all of his stuff. So um, we're just going to do this the old lazy way, guys. And sometimes these I, I'm actually finding that I find these bases a lot at um at this town hall level um so we're max on gold right now elixir is getting there um even if we get it all it's not going to uh put us at max i'm not gonna try and rush in there and get that little bit of elixir um well maybe i should yeah let's drop down i'm gonna drop down two giants as distraction and then just drop down a whole bunch of goblins to get in there and take that out real quick um so that we can get all of it so it looks like the rest of it is over here in these storages but i'm not going to deploy too heavily because hopefully at the end of this video um we will be able to um hopefully have another attack so that's not bad at all i know i missed out on a lot of gold but i mean my storages are full <laughs> um so why don't we go ahead and train up some more troops we used two giants um and let's train up some more archers Train up some more goblins. What are we at right now? I don't want to take seven minutes. Let's just do ten of them. Um, bring in some more archers over here. Come on. Almost there. All right, so I don't know if we'll actually be able to attack again because that's going to take a while for all those troops to train up. Um, but we will. Maybe I'll just half attack and see if I can find a base like that again. Um but let's see what I really want to upgrade right now. As you can see, one mortar is upgrading. I want to upgrade the other one, but it's not smart to have um, to have both of them upgrading at the same time, just because it it you you want your base to be covered well by the mortars and by your wizard. So you never want all of them to be upgrading at um, at the same time, just because it it ends up not doing. Um, it ends up not working too well for you because you're out of most of your splash damage. Um, so what we're going to do, since we do have two wizards up, we're going to go ahead and upgrade one of the wizard towers because wizard towers do work and you definitely want to um, to upgrade them. And since the last video, guys, as you can see, um, we have this top cannon up here. 
um, at the very top of the base. We upgraded that since the last video um, as well as this mortar is going up to level 2 so that those two mortars can be matched. Um, I actually think that I want to... Um, I'm going to take this elixir. I'm going to put this mortar right back here. I know that looks really weird, but I want to spread the mortars out a little bit more. Um, I'm honestly not too worried about getting attacked by somebody who's like super beast because I mean I'm Town Hall 6 I'm not gonna I don't have that much when it comes to golden elixir and whatnot um, I think one thing that I'm also gonna do is upgrade this gold storage um, just because I have to be able to store more gold like I missed out on a whole lot of gold on that last raid so I'm gonna upgrade that and then um, normally I would say keep a builder available so that you can upgrade walls and stuff as you wait but since this one's going to be done in four hours, I'm going to go ahead and um, find something else to upgrade. So uh, one of our wizards is upgrading, one of our mortars is upgrading, so we don't want to upgrade any more of our splash defense. Um, next, I'm just going to upgrade a cannon because, as you can see, this cannon is going up to level 7. It gets 9 more damage, um, and it's 200,000, and it only takes one day. But if you upgrade this guy to level 7, it only gets 7 more damage, and it takes 3 days. Now, I know that they have more range, but I'm not trying to wait 3 days to get less damage than I can get with a cannon. Um, so I'm going to upgrade this as well, and that looks like that is going to be it for the upgrades, guys. Um, why don't we go ahead, let's see how many troops we have. So we have 103 troops. Let's go ahead and attack and see if we can't find something lazy that we can do some work on. Um, I'm not going to cut away or anything. We're just going to see if we can find this real quick and uh, get ourselves a little bit of resources, if you know what I'm talking about. Um, but I just want to say a quick thank you to all of my new subscribers. I don't know if y'all are here for this series or if you came for other series or whatever. But, you know, that's something that I would actually uh, really find interesting to know, guys, is where is... Can I break in here? I'm going to break in here. Um, that's one thing that I would really find, I, I'm, I'm really interested to know what brings you guys to my channel. Um, so if you guys could comment that below, like say, I don't know, what video it was that made you find me or something like that, um, that would be really, really cool for me to know. Um, and I guess it would really also help me just find out the kinds of videos that you guys like. Um, and maybe I can, you know, obviously continue try to... Um, to put those kinds of videos out, um, but yeah, that's very. I'm, I'm I'm very interested and intrigued in in what kind of stuff uh, brings you guys to my channel. So uh, again, comment that below, guys, and we are going to finish up this raid right here. He started out with eighty thousand gold, so we are not doing too shabby right now. A lot of our archers are on the outside. I'd like to get them on the inside um, so that they can. But they're about to get taken out by that mortar right there. Um, these ones down here aren't going to really do anything for us. We're going to go ahead and in the battle, we got 59,000 gold, 30,000 um, elixir, and that wasn't even with a full army. So I am perfectly fine with that. Um, as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more um, updates to this Town Hall 6, guys. I'm really excited about this. Let me know the kinds of questions that you may have and whatnot and um we'll see if we can answer them in future videos but as always guys thank you so much you guys are awesome you are so much cooler than me i appreciate all the support keep calm and clash on for me all right i'll see you guys later